Good evening, everybody. I wanted to do another reading of my book, so let me get right to it. As soon as I get it up. Here we go. Oops. I am just unprepared. Uh, here we are. The Bosnian mission to the United Nations in New York City between 1990 and was an extremely interesting place, reflecting it, re it reflected the rotating ethnic presidency existing in Bosnia at the time. The mission employees were comprised of people of completely bipolar ethnic theological and politically inverse ideological viewpoints. The head ambassador of the mission himself, post 9-11, was in combating all kinds of rumors of his soon becoming a person non grata in the United States for allegedly being an international arms trader for Osama bin Laden and for also granting a visa to Osama bin Laden in 1993 when he was formally stationed as an ambassador in diplomatic capacity in Italy. There was also rumors he also confessed to the United States Department of State of running an international arms trading scam in connection with Al-Qaeda. Darko Trifunovic confided in me secretly, uh, privately, that Al-Qaeda, in the mission, Bosnian mission, to the United Nations in Manhattan with us between 2001 and 2002, um, after a, um, using a falsified Bosnian name, Safet, S-A-F-E-T, Karavic, C A T O B I C. Darko Trifunovic and I worked together at the Bosnian mission in the United Nations in New York City between 2001 and 2002 um, together. And I, Jill Starr, verify and swear that I used to work on Mr. Molly's computer because he was always complaining to me I was getting filed up with viruses. He would sit there and I have nothing to do but make um, illegal bootleg copies of the Zeppelin tunes, which he liked. Um, I can tell you personally, I was quite shocked to find out he was an Al-Qaeda agent because you can look at um, him very clean shaven. Uh, he definitely blended in, and I never would have guessed, you know, back home he was wearing beards and uh, preaching Islamic fundamentalism. Uh, he was very westernized, and he was listened to um, Led Zeppelin and all their rock tunes, and he was just like another 20-year-old Muslim uh, intern working at the United Nations, I know he was very westernized and I, he never gave one signal he might have been Al-Qaeda agent, so I could tell you that it's very difficult to recognize real Al-Qaeda operatives in America, Home and Home Security certainly has a work cut out for them. Now I'm a little bit more familiar what to look for. Um, the number two man at the Bosnian mission, the first ambassador, was a Serbian doctor who was Orthodox Christian and a doctor of medicine by university degree. Um, the first secretary of the mission was my friend Darko Trifunovic. The consulate at the department was headed by an ethnic Muslim lady from Bosnia, and there was also a blonde uh, Croatian lady, ambassador floating, diplomat floating around, with other various diplomats being comprised of either Roman Catholic or Croatian descent. Um, Mr. The Al-Qaeda person, um, Mr. Kadovich, became extremely suspicious of um, that we were on to, you know, who he really was, and Darko was on to him because he, he also spoke, Mr. Kadovich spoke very poor Bosnian. As a result of um, Darko Trikunovic exposing him, we stayed up all night faxing every mission, including the United States mission, the United Nations in New York City, warnings that he was an Al-Qaeda agent here at the Bosnian mission. Um, using a falsified name, and he's an arms trader, and you know there was some something that could happen here, like maybe 9/11, and he should be sent out of the country immediately in question. But at the time, Bill Clinton was president, and uh, NATO was bombing Serbia, and nobody listened to Darko and I. Um, we were just dismissed as Serbian radicals or part of the Milosevic propaganda machine, which is quite unfortunate when 9/11 did occur. And then the State Department did send this person out of the country in person on non grata after he did admit being an international arms trader involved with 9 11 and um, so and so. You can see some of the uh, proof that Darko had on my Google site here. Um, and um, 
My time at the mission was primarily spent fixing Darko's laptop computer, which became daily infected with computer viruses he continually claimed were emanated from other employees at the mission who were allegedly trying to sabotage him because he was an ethnic Serbian background, um, which was basically what everyone there was complaining about. They would um, all tell me that everyone was trying to sabotage their computer because of their ethnic background, which I didn't really think was very true. Um, as a more objective person there. I vividly recall the constant bickering between the mission employees, though, always accusing each other of committing war crimes against each other and giving each other computer viruses, making it virtually impossible for any of them to get along in a diplomatic capacity. Um, the Croatian diplomat, the lady, uh, blonde lady, um, usually just stayed to herself with her office door shut and didn't say much, while the others present usually just listened to Led Zeppelin rock music on their personal CD-ROM players or made copies of it illegally. They told me repeatedly they had nothing else to do with their time at the United Nations Bosnian Mission beyond an occasional meeting except for listening to Led Zeppelin music and playing computer games. I'll stop here for the night um, because I'm not feeling that well, and I'll continue tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this bit of information. I hope it was useful. Thank you, and have a good night.